Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel M2K Sai. I am Kushi and today we will be solving set 3 code number 32 slash 5 slash 3 series JBB slash 5 social science paper. So in this video we will be solving section C. Question number 29 is read the sources given below and answer the questions related to them. Source A globalization and the Indian economy. The question on this was how is the impact of globalization visible on consumers? Now what you have to write, you have to write the answer for consumers. As consumers in today world, they have wide choice of goods and services before us. The latest model of digital camera, phones and televisions made by the leading manufacturers of the world are within our reach. You have to write this as the answer as it is only for one marks. Next question number 29.2 is how does foreign trade inter integrate the markets explain? The answer is over here that they create a, it creates opportunity for the producers to reach beyond their domestic markets and producers can sell their produce not in markets with, located within the country but can also compete in markets located in other countries. This is the answer for source B. Now for source C. How do people play an important role in the struggle for fair globalization? Explain. The answer is over here. Massive campaigns and representation by people organiza people's organization have influenced important decisions relating to trade investments at WTO. This has demonstrated that people can also play an important role in the struggle. Now, this whole paragraph is the answer for that question, but you have to write it in your own words so that you get the full marks. Now next question number 30 is describe the physical and economical economic factors that influenced the distribution pattern of the Indian rail Railways network. This answer is over here on page number 85. The answer is the distribution pattern for you first you have to write it for physical factors and then you have to write it for economic factors. Now the answer is the distribution of pattern of Indian railways in the country has been largely influenced by the physiographic, economic and administrative factors. First you will write this then you have to first start with the physical factors. The, the northern plains with their vast level land, high population density and rich agriculture resource provided most favorable condition for their growth. Then you have to just go on explaining this and write this paragraph but by minimizing the points, the important points from this and the economic points from this paragraph. You have to write that they are vastly spread on the northern plains and on terrains like in Arunachal Pradesh and eastern India. Railways construction is not possible and economic they are economically feasible. Most of the Indian, con Indian people are traveling through the train etc. Next or question describe the growing importance of road transport. The answer is a direct question given on page number 82. You have to write all these points that point A construction cost of roads is much lower than that of railway lines. Construction uh, roads can transverse comparatively more dissected and indulting topography. Next can be road transport is economic economical in transportation of few persons and relatively small, smaller amount of goods over short distances. Next can be it also provides door to door service thus the cost of loading and unloading is much lower. Next point road transport is also used as a feeder to other important modes of uh, feeder to link other modes of transport such as they provide a link between railway station and railway stations, air and seaports. This is a very important point. Next question is, ex question number 31, political parties play an important role in democracy. Support the statement with examples. The answer is over here that political parties play an important role in democracy. You have to write the important features of political parties. So you have to write the bullet points first of all that they contest in elections, they put different policies and programs for people and you have to write examples and ex go on explaining this. Then next is they have a massive role in making laws, they form and run the government, they form the role of opposition, they shape the public opinion and they provide 
access to government machinery and welfare two to three lines explanation will be sufficient next question is explain the role of bretton woods institution in sec in post second world war settlement the answer is in chapter number three the answer is over here it is the answer that the main main aim of the post war international economic system was to preserve economic stability and full employment in the industrial world this will be your first point then you have to say that the bretton woods conference established the international monetary fund this will be the first point to deal with external surpluses and defects of its member nation then second point third point is the international bank for reconstruction and development popularly known as world bank was set up to finance post war reconstruction the imf and world bank are referred to as the bretton woods institution then you can write that the decision making in these institution is controlled by western industrial powers the us has effective right of veto over key imf and world bank decisions this is a very important point for this you can even make a graph showing bretton woods twins and you have to make a graph like this that imf graph sorry graph you have to make a flow chart like this now question it was an or type question explain the ways through which british manufacturers attempted to take over the indian market this question is from chapter number 4 you will find that answer in the textbook itself question number 33 different people have different goals of development explain the statement this is from chapter number 1 development in economics the answer you have to give examples for this question this is a practical based questions and you have to question you have to explain it with example so you will write that you will just write the statement given in the question different people have different developmental goals different goals of development and for example a girl expect as much freedom and opportunity as a brother and that is he also shares in the household work her brother may not like this and it will not be a development for him but for the girl it will be a case of development similarly to get more electricity industrialists may want more dams but this may submerge the land and disrupt the lives of people who are displaced who are tribals so you have to write that this is not a development for tribals but it is a development for industrialists from this we come to know that different people can have different goals of development next question number 34 is democracy promotes dignity and freedom of the people examine the statement what you have to write you have to examine the statement you have to write that people get equality of vote every person has one vote and every vote has one value so the dignity of each citizen is maintained by the government next freedom there are many types of freedom given to us like freedom to speech we have next very important point can be that in our country india democracy promotes the free choice of choosing our religion and we have freedom of religion we have freedom of speech and etc next or question is democracy is best suited to produce better results examine the statement you have to write the importance of democracy that though results are produced by taking much time but the results are the best for the society and they run for a longer time because the decisions provide stability democracy provides stability and the uh, results of democracy are always stable and it produce better results when con uh, when compared to other systems like monarchy and other types of dictatorship governments thank you for watching my video and we will be meeting in our next video thank you